It's the phone call no one wants to get. Hello? And the test you this never want to do well on. Whether you are quarantined due to close contact with a COVID positive individual, okay. or you are quarantined because you have tested positive for COVID, the experience can be incredibly stressful. I kind of just felt sorry for myself. It was definitely difficult. At first I was worried about getting groceries um, because my family <laughs> likes to eat. I kind of just sat there and like dwelled on everything. I'm like, oh, well, I'm just in such a bad position. I didn't really get to see anybody. Like I was just stuck in my room. My whole family was sick at the same time, so that's a big negative. <laughs> I was just kind of being negative about the whole situation. You take it for granted not seeing people physically. We are all miserable. School continues even when a student or a teacher is on quarantine. One way to stay up on top of things is to create some sort of schedule that works for you. If you are quarantined and you have a lot of work to do, <laughs> talk to your teachers and work out a schedule of turning things in and stuff. Don't, don't let yourself fall behind. It was kind of difficult to keep up with schoolwork, but at the same time, I had a lot of time. So I kind of had to give myself a schedule. Like at around this time, like after lunch, I need to work on this assignment or after this one, I need to do this. Basically just, I had to give myself something to work with or else I wouldn't do anything. <laughs> However, not all people on quarantine are able to focus on schoolwork, especially when they are physically ill. I was really sick like the entire time, so I didn't do any work that entire month. I mean, I had migraines, I wasn't really feeling too good, so work was not my top priority. No matter what the situation is, the quarantine experience can be made a little better with these simple tips. Just know that it's not going to be that long and you're going to get through it. Everybody's kind of going through this right now, so just kind of know that you're not alone in it. Keep in contact with a lot of people, you know, so you don't feel isolated and lonely. I think if I were to be in quarantine again, I would just try to have a more positive attitude and make the most of it. As the pandemic continues, try to make sure you are mentally prepared for the possibility of being put on quarantine. Also, mask up, wash your hands, and practice social distancing to help slow the spread of COVID. For Blue Jay Journal TV, this is Natalie Osterley reporting.